those guys are doing. You know, you see those guys, he's like holding a rod on the street and I know, and th uh, this is not, I'm genuinely curious, anyone who's in construction, like what are, are they architects? Like he's like holding a rod on the ground, on the cement. Like what is that, what is the data that that's telling him? It just, it's always been confusing to me. Anyways, welcome to today's video guys. We are taking a hike. I got a cold brew. I've got a weighted vest on and today is a full day of eating. We would be able to see more. We would be. If it wasn't for the smog. Um, interesting. A lot of smog. A lot, a lot of smog. Got you guys set up on the phone. So first meal of the day. Uh, popped in one of my favorite places in Los Angeles. There's, uh, I think, four or five of these around Los Angeles. Air One, which is actually nowhere spelled backwards. I didn't know that, but my best friend Matt let me know that that's the case. Very interesting. So. This is called Hardcore Greens. Ingredients, organic celery, organic cucumber, organic collard greens, organic Swiss chard, organic parsley, organic ginger. Shot of life right here. And if that's not enough, we've literally got life force, which is to regenerate and repair. You gotta love marketing. Orange, lemon, ginger, chlorophyll, E3 live. Not sure what that is. Probably does something great. And then cayenne. So we're gonna shoot this one on down. So getting a shot of greens, first thing in the morning, that cardio was fasted, and then, or the cardio you're seeing now, I'm not sure how it's gonna be placed in the video. Um, and then this is uh, just turkey breast, lean turkey breast, simple, if I had to guess, probably four ounces, not too much. And then uh, a buffalo burger, buffalo, like actual buffalo, not like hot sauce buffalo. It's like an actual buffalo. So, yeah, that's breakfast for the day. Starting out with some protons, starting out with some healthy greens, some fiber, gonna poop real good. Let's head to the next meal. So this watch that I focus, man. Hey, this is my Sam, Samsung Galaxy watch. It can, I can change the faces on it, which I freaking love. It tells me my step count for the day because the hike, it's already on fleek. Um, I love that it doesn't necessarily look like a smart watch. It doesn't look like an Apple watch, which I think Apple watches look stupid. I quickly want to say, I know this is a full day of eating, but I'm just kind of going off on a tangent here. With white shoes, guys, especially athletic shoes these days, Adidas, uh, and even even Nikes like Flyknit, like this kind of mesh style, these are NMDs. You can throw these in the washer. Uh, and that's how I wash them. And, uh, and what I do is uh, I, I simply throw them in the washer with like some whites and then some white towels as well. Even if I don't have any uh, dirty white towels, I'll simply, even if they're clean white towels, I'll throw them in too, just because I don't want to only throw shoes in the washer, if that makes sense. There needs to be other stuff in there. But, uh, but I'll just add regular detergent and add a little bit of bleach, and then, and then the white shoes come out looking pretty much brand spanking new. Uh, last thing I'm gonna say is I've been cooking some sweet potatoes while I've been knocking out some work, and uh, this is actually gonna be pre-workout meal. It is always wise to weigh your food. Um, weighing in grams, I zeroed out the scale, so we can't really see here. Well, we can kind of see 400 and 426 grams. I get to be on a call right now with Mr. Chase Tuning and uh, his mentorship group. He mentors um, online business owners in the fitness space, coaches, podcasters. Seeking to pursue that passion project Marketing, sales, delivery, retention. This is where so many go wrong. Ah. This is not ideal to sit on. Okay. Guys, knocked out an hour of cardio. Um, primarily walking, and then the last like five to 10 minutes, I did a quick jog. Been doing about airplane. Doing about 30 minutes of cardio every day, nothing crazy, just incline walking on the treadmill, three miles per hour, 10% grade, guys. Pre-workout, or not pre-workout, it's kind of intra-workout, but I'm gonna be having a uh, salted caramel protein shake from Lean Body. I don't have my BB Calm with me, so gonna make do. Got this from Gold's. I think this is a pretty good flavor. Uh, 40 grams of protein. I'm a little under on the day, that's also why. And then I'm gonna have this Celsius because I don't have any pre-workout with me. Uh, and this will serve as a pre-workout. I believe there's like 200 milligrams of caffeine, 
touring, a bunch of other stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna drink this during the workout. Let's go. My people, what is good? I am down. Hey, I'm down in this corner right here. I'm gonna talk through this one with you guys. So uh, let's go through it. I'm at Gold's Gym. I like to come down to Gold's Gym Venice on the weekends. I don't live in this part of Los Angeles anymore, but my OGs know that this used to be my home gym for a year and a half. So I do like coming down there. I don't like filming there because uh, just the snarky looks I get from like OGs from the gym. Nothing bad on them, uh, but uh, I, I don't like going down there too often except for the weekend, which it's nice to work out there outside. I see old friends and whatnot. Um, going through a full body session. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, especially on the IG, like Brian, what is your training goal right now? What is your goal in general? Well, I do have some plans and I, I so badly, like so, so badly hate being that guy saying like, oh, I'm not gonna talk about it, but the time is gonna come soon where I am going to talk about what I am doing, what I am training for. Um, that's kind of a hint, uh, but I am staying lean, okay? I'm not actively trying to cut right now. Matter of fact, I put on some body fat since my show got to be what three four mm, three four weeks ago at this point and I'm sitting at uh, if I had to guess two three percent body fat higher I still think I'm sub 10 I'm probably like nine probably nine percent body fat here and uh, either way guys I really do like to train full body and when you are cutting something that I actually do like is is you have more freedom with the style of training that you're gonna implement uh, during your cut because guys you really don't gain muscle when you're in a fat loss phase especially for advanced athletes that are already at a low body fat percentage I'm not gaining muscle guys like since I started my competition prep for four months in four months ago at this point can't use words I really have not uh, yeah I really haven't gained any muscle and therefore uh, when you're entering the gym it's really just about Stimulating the muscle, creating those micro tears, and giving your body a reason to keep that muscle in your frame while you're in a fat loss phase. That's really it. So that being said, your training is way more important when you are in a surplus and you're actively trying to gain muscle. When I say surplus, guys, uh, a caloric surplus. So you're giving your body more calories than it needs to stay the same weight. So you can gain muscle and you will gain a little bit of fat with that. That's in a, a quote unquote bulking, the bros like to call it bulking, but a lean gain phase, which for natural athletes, a lean gain phase should last at least a year, uh, if not longer, but I'm not there right now. So I'm actually gonna be way more regimented on my training routine when I shift into a surplus and I can actually put on some freaking muscle. But for now, it's more so, guys, by the way, please don't critique my form here. This is genuinely how I like to do Bulgarian split squats. It engages my glutes. Just wanna throw that caveat in there before I have the form Nazis jump at me. Um, this is a style of training that I like. I like, so I'm implementing stuff that I truly do enjoy uh, while I'm in this fat loss phase, maintaining a low body fat percentage uh, versus when I switch to a surplus, the training is gonna be much more reg regimented based on progressive overload, uh, RPE, ready perceived exertion, hitting certain reps for certain sets, certain loads, things like that. But for now, it's kind of a, Training, obviously, with an intention, uh, with intensity, with uh, being able to enjoy the session. But, um, and that's, guys, that's number one and number two before you even get into the intricacies. Enjoy your sessions, bring the intensity, and that's really what we've got. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this session, and let's move on. Running out of my time, so we will um, we'll continue the day of eating. We've got, like, two, three meals left. Yo, that was tough. That was hard. All right, guys, meal number... I don't know what meal it is, three, five, seven, two, I think it's three. Uh, we've got some lemon chicken. Lemon chicken, grilled chicken. We've got some veggies. We've got some potato, small bit, not too much. Uh, and super simple meal, guys. This is like uh, seven ounces or so of chicken, just on the stove top, super easy. Um, about 400 calories, 50 grams of protein or so. Uh, low carb because I am saving strategically some carbohydrates for later. If I was not planning guys on having more carbohydrates later today, I, this would be a higher carbohydrate post-workout meal. But um, you know, a plan has to you know a plan has to fit your lifestyle, right? Your nutrition, as always. We can't you know yes on paper, having a post-workout meal with more carbohydrates than usual is a wise thing to do. But we also get to kind of style flex with our lifestyle based on what we're actually gonna be doing in our life, right? So we can make some modifications to these rules. They're not like hard and fast rules. They're just suggestions or best practices, so to speak. So uh, anyways, gonna down this and we'll continue. The glory, it is glorious, this Chinese chicken salad. 
Why Chinese? I don't know, what makes this Chinese? I just decided to name it Chinese. Guys, we have some romaine lettuce, we've got some green beans, snap peas. Not green beans, snap peas. We've got some almond slivers. The name sliver is funny. We've got some mandarin oranges. We've got chicken on here. We've got about six ounces of chicken. And then we also have these like crunchy things. I don't know, does this make it Chinese? I don't know, it just looks like a Chinese chicken salad. And then we have some uh, vinaigrette that I kind of made this, this dressing that I kind of whip up from time to time. Has some lemon in there, has some spices in there. If you'd like me to share that dressing, let me know. But this is going to be the meal before the big freaking behemoth that, uh, so me and my best friend Matt, uh, Matt, you guys may know Matt, you may have met him in a video, I'm not sure. Uh, been one of my best friends for almost 10 years at this point. We pledged the same fraternity at West Virginia University on the East Coast. We're both from West Virginia, and he now lives in Los Angeles and works alongside me in one of my coaching programs. And either way, Matt and I are gonna go get some frozen yogurt tonight. A place called Menchie's. I'm not sure if it's a national chain, but it's definitely around Los Angeles. It's frozen yogurt. And uh, I go there, and I, part my French, fuck up some fucking yogurt, put a shit ton of stuff on the top, Reese's cookie dough, um, cheesecake bites, I said cookie dough, Reese's pieces, not Reese's, Reese's pieces. Do you say Reese's pieces or Reese's pieces? I was having this conversation earlier. Uh, Reese's cup, sorry. And then uh, Heath bar. Heath bar is my freaking favorite bar. Uh, if you do not like Heath bars, please unsubscribe immediately. Have you been okay? This does not look like a guy who's oh. been okay. <laughs> it's like, what what is like a mosh pit in here. <laughs> Listen, I hate Heath bars. Get out. And uh, then the base of it. Oh, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna add chocolate on top of it. This is pretty much the same thing I get every single time, guys. When I go to Mechi, so uh, even though I have not technically gone yet, going tonight, I'll post images. Probably already have. Uh, I know the caloric content of what I'm going to be creating. So, guys, uh, you may be very surprised seeing me eat something like this when I am this low body fat percentage, sub 10 percent. But um, but I am maintaining at this level. I had to go lower calorie than what you're seeing here to uh, get to this body fat percentage. And guys, honestly, the truth is, even if I was dieting, I still would be able to fit this in the diet. Now, not every day, wouldn't be wise. We should lead with, lead with whole food sources, but I do believe in flexible dieting. And I think flexible dieting is different than if it fits your macros. In my opinion, if you guys have heard of these methodologies, um, if it fits your macros is basically like, Eat anything you want as long as it fits in your macros. And I think people take that to kind of an extreme, fitting in a bunch of just crap foods because they can. And technically on paper, can you lose fat eating IIFYM if it fits your macros? Yes, you can. But why? Just why would you do that to yourself? You'll feel like crap. I believe in flexible dieting, which is eating whole, like whole healthy food sources, tracking your macronutrients, your proteins, carbs, and fats, and leading from that space, eating healthy, quote unquote, whole foods, 70 to 80% of the time, and uh, with an understanding that you can also fit in some foods that you would like to eat from time to time, and it's not gonna break the caloric bank, and you're still going to stay on track. Guys, I believe in all diets, if it works for you. Uh, I, I, know I poke fun at diets like the keto diet, and uh, the Atkins diet, and all these different types, paleo diet, because I just think it's funny how they're marketed, and people think they like indoctrinate into these type of diets, and they don't understand why the diet works. It's simply because the diet facilitates a caloric deficit, and they think they need to cut carbs and all these things, and it's just, it's truly a shame. I really don't like it. And I wouldn't be able to have this fucking Menchie's if I was on the fucking keto diet. So, if you like the keto diet, you're kind of weird, but it's okay. Um, I'm weird too, I am very weird. Uh, but that's really it, guys. Last thing, um, to calculate your macronutrients, what I do is um, if I'm bulking or I'm maintaining, it's one gram per pound of body weight of protein. If I am losing fat, if I'm in a deficit, it's 1.2 grams per pound of body weight uh, of protein for myself. Fats, I keep at 30% of my calories. So 30% of my calories comes from a fat source. And then carbohydrates, our favorite, it is very dynamic based on your metabolism, based on many different factors. For me personally, if I am cutting, I take in one to 1.2 grams of carb per pound of body weight. So for me, that's around 230 or so grams of carbs. So when I'm dieting, my carbs and my protein are pretty much almost exactly the same. And then I'll do a couple high, high carb days during the week. Um, but there are a lot of people who can have two grams of carbs per pound of body weight and still cut and lose fat. So for me, that would be like over 400 grams of carbs, which would be no bueno, would not work for me. So 
Carbs are highly dynamic, but a great starting point for you if you're venturing down the fat loss phase is to multiply your body weight by 1.5. Start there, because conservative, because don't starve yourself right away. And then you can adjust down if necessary, adjust up if necessary. If you'd like a calorie calculator to do the work for you so you don't have to do the shit, um, there's a great one on my website, just briancosta.com. Top right corner says macro calculator. Calculate your macros based on your height, your weight, your goal, all them things. So uh, I hope you found today's video helpful. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, dropping that first like, and dropping that first comment if you got something from this video and you're glad that you watched it. If you're emerging on the other side with another nugget of knowledge or 1%, 0.01% better of a person than you were when you started, maybe you're better equipped to do something, drop a like. Drop that like, drop that like. Subscribe if you are not, and if you're an OG, and you've been around for a freaking while, you know what's good. I love you, thank you for giving me your trust and your time and just freaking being here. And I will see you in the next freaking video. I was in, I end that way. It's probably gonna be either tomorrow or early this coming week. All right, deuces, peace out.